Hey guys, how's it going? It is Sunday, day of the show. I got my outfit on. Got some fun like cargo pants and all the jewelry I'm wearing is made by me. I made this top um, and I thought I would just like sport kind of like the cyberpunk look because that's the theme of the um, event. And so I went for like a neon pink and yellow kind of look because I have um, props for dancing that I'm gonna use. Um, and I thought I would show off some of my work and maybe I will um, actually sell some of this. So we'll see, but I just, I'm in love with wearing my own designs. And I have right here like a Arbonne Fizz drink. Uh, it's not wine, it is cranberry juice and some like collagen powder and stuff. And mm, it's really good. I just got like a chunk though. Anywho, so shows today, bags are packed, tried a bunch of outfits on, landed with this one. I'm gonna also wear like a, a cover up, like a very uh, early 2000s look I'm gonna show you. So I have this like pink silk cover up jacket and it makes me feel like I'm in the matrix. So let's have a look here. Ready? What do we think? Pretty sick, right? Pretty sick. What do we think? Pretty sick fit, right? I just love the pink details, all the jewelry. And then when I want to cover up, I got my like matrix cover up. So yeah, I don't know. I love all the different colors and textures and this is what we're rocking for our first art show of 2023. I am so stoked. So let's sit down and enjoy like a little bit of a peaceful morning. And I am so excited to connect with other artists and just have a hell of a time today. So yeah, ah, I can't believe it's happening. It's exciting. Awesome. Okay, I'll see you at the show. Hello everyone and welcome to my recap video of the Back Pocket Art Show that happened on February 23rd, I believe. It was a beautiful Sunday and it just so happened that the street got shut down uh, because there was a police inc incident on the street. So only people could come in through the back door and despite that we had a really really successful beautiful art show i met a lot of wonderful people and artists and i was just so stunned by the talents of all these young artists in vancouver and i enjoyed sharing a dance or two with folks at the show i had candy at my booth and i was just so happy to get to mingle with all these amazing artists. So here you can see my booth and I was selling some art prints and some handmade jewelry and my table mate was amazing, had these really cool paintings. And then here's Jeb's Junk, which I met and they actually did a portrait of me, which was so awesome. And this portrait that they did was of my double exposure photography piece. So here it is right here, isn't it beautiful? I am just so pleased to have met all these cool people. There was such a mix of different art. You can see there was people with textile, printing, paintings, portrait, collage, stickers just a whole bunch of cool stuff jewelry um i really like this person's art with the vintage toys five smackaroonies there i tried to tag everyone that i could i was going around and asking everyone for their instagram handles so if you see the names pop up during the video those are their instagram handles so please do go check them out um 
I'm just so amazed by these artists and I was so happy to be a part of this show, to browse and just to, you know, reconnect with the community. There was just such a mix of different people from different backgrounds and different art backgrounds and it was really, really awesome to be in a space that you can share and just learning about different people's processes and chatting with everyone was definitely the highlight of my weekend. I actually ran into the person running this booth, actually we used to work together, so we were catching up and I was just admiring all these beautiful things that she has crafted and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the little walk through the video. I also want to mention that while I was filming with my Sony ZV-1, I also took the opportunity to film on a vintage Digicam. It's a Leica Panasonic Digicam. And so unfortunately all of the video I took on the Digicam, the file was corrupted or I, it wouldn't transfer onto my computer. There was some sort of error, but I do have a bunch of photos that I took with this camera and they actually turned out to be really cool and kind of like that early 2000s vintage vibe. And the theme of this art show was cyber. So it was the whole theme was about, you know, digital and reconnecting with the early kind of 2000s and the beginning of the internet age. I really liked the alternative fashion that people had and the different ways that people's art represented that theme. Um, there was some really, really cool poetry by the person I just showed. Uh, here's another lovely person, Jules by Jules. Really lovely. She hand makes these really fun rosaries and different jewelry pieces, which was super inspiring. And there she is. She's so cute. Yes. What is it called? It's Mog of the Moon. Mog of the Moon? Okay. I'm doing a recap video of the event, so I want to be able to find everybody. Oh, amazing. Awesome. Hi. Oh, nice nails. Thank Shit. You. Whoa. They're press ones from winners. They cost okay. me five bucks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's the tea. Like, yeah, go yeah. on to winners and get yourself some press ones. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Sure. I love your work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. These two are digital, but like, apart from that, I don't fuck with digital. Yeah. Um, Going to art shows is a great way to find yourself and get re-inspired to create again. This show definitely made me feel like I was learning from others by just having that inspiration and I had so many pleasant beautiful conversations with people and I was just so pleased to Feel that inspiration and for people to come to my booth and tell me how much they loved my prints and that they asked me about my process and I just thought that was so special and it warmed my heart and I have fuzzy butterfly feelings in my chest just remembering the beautiful day that I had at this art show and it just goes to show that these big corporation galleries is not the only way to show art and represent art and coming together as a community can be so wholesome and beautiful. And these are some of your photos? Yeah, so here are some other photos as well. Awesome. And you took them all with an iPhone. Yeah. Amazing! Yeah. Really inspiring because I'm, I'm getting into photography more and more. This is a really cool one. Thank you. I absolutely adored this person's iPhone double exposure shots. The photography was so cool, the way they had this woman swimming on the road at sunset. Yeah, just super, super beautiful. And oh, I could just talk all day long about how special it feels to be surrounded by your own kind of people, surrounded by creatives and how that community is so healing and beautiful. Thank you, I love your sweater. I love your silk.
I think the thing I loved the most about the Back Pocket Art Show was that everyone was so kind and open and friendly. And I don't see that often in a lot of the big public art spaces. Um, I really found this kind of event and all of the people there were so kind, so polite, so ready to help each other and support one another. And it wasn't clicky. Like I didn't ever feel like I couldn't approach anyone. It was, it was beautiful and I do spend a lot of time in more of those professional art venues back when I was a dancer and sometimes it did feel clicky and it felt like there was a lot of gatekeeping and secrets and not wanting to uplift smaller artists whereas in a place like Back Pocket Art everyone is a small artist or a you know a self-taught or self-grown artist and the entire community around this was just so supportive, so kind. If I had questions about people's art, they were so happy to tell me all about their process, their inspiration, and I especially love this person. They make these beautiful candle holders and the way that the light reflects out the back of these candle holders were just beautiful. A lot of the artists here had pay what you can tiers, or they had a section of their art that was pay by donation or pay what you can. Uh, which I thought was really amazing in grassroots because of course we all want someone to own a piece of our art We of course also don't want to undervalue our art and skills But I did a lot of trades like people would come up to my booth and, and say, you know Can I trade you a print for a print and I was like absolutely we can trade a print for a print and I thought that was really cool It was almost like a bartering kind of medieval festival in a sense that we just wanted to break bread and share community and be able to own each other's art in a way that was accessible and affordable to each person there no matter what the situation was. And I really admire that kind of camaraderie and just that beautiful, beautiful community. This person had the most beautiful hand. She almost, she described it as tattoo art. So she tattoos the print onto the sweater and these designs really reminded me of dark souls and just really gothic style art and it was just absolutely highest quality top tier this person made games like pinball machines and these little gun range games which i thought was so cool and they had some prints as well they had everything listed out so well too they had like a price sheet for all their objects and yeah, it was absolutely fabulous. This person wanted to do a print for print with me and I just was so pleased to do that. There was a collaborative live painting session that was right next to me, which was really cool. So while people were coming up and painting, I got to watch them paint and, you know, everyone was open and welcome to contribute to that painting. So that was the art show in a nutshell. What I'm going to do next is show some aftermath of the art show and I'm going to compare the photos that I took on my Digicam, my Leica Digicam, versus the photos I took on my Sony ZV-1 so you can see the difference in the quality. Hi guys, I'm home from the art show and it was amazing. Wow, I had a really fun time, but I need like a shower. And there was a rave happening after and I just opted out of the rave. I just decided to come home and I wanna look at the footage and the pictures that I took. Uh, some people bought my prints, which I was so surprised by. And so I had a really great time and I met some really cool people that I was mutuals with on Instagram and it was just overall a really great art show. So props to Back Pocket Art for putting it on. Um, and I had a really good time. Now I'm just gonna have a shower, make some dinner, and just chill. So let's uh, finish off this night with a little relaxation. So to start us out, these are images were taken with the Panasonic Leica Lumix camera DMC ZS30. And you can see the difference between these photos without the flash versus this photo is with the flash. What I learned using this camera for the first time was that taking photos with the flash turned out better. Um, the zoom was really good on this camera and the colors I think turned out really well. There was a lot of motion blur which I thought was really artistic and creative. So here's a photo with flash. Look how amazing the colors are. 
This photo is definitely probably my favorite from the whole night. I happened to catch her turning around. This photo was taken at a distance with the flash on, so I was zoomed in quite a bit, um, and I had the flash on, so you can kind of see that luminance there. And this is the last photo taken with no flash. Now let's compare this to the photos taken on my ZV-1. Obviously these ones were crispier, they look more modern. I had the black Pro Mist 1 4th filter on that diffused the light really cool. This one, I don't know, I accidentally took it with the really bad ISO. Uh, it was really yellow lighting in there and that's why I edited kind of the photos more purplish to kind of negate the yellowness of the photos. Overall, it was a really great experiment to try out this Leica Digicam and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment which photo was your favorite and I can't wait to see you guys again in the next video. Thanks to everyone I met at the Back Pocket Art Show.